Hi, if you're working on induction uh, in complex numbers, this video might be helpful for you. I'm going to take three examples of complex number induction in this video and solve them using the concepts of induction. So taking the first one, which is generally asked in math actual examination, the first one is T. Moivers theorem proof. So the question uh, that is generally asked is proving of cos theta plus i sine theta uh, to the power n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta. Now, taking the first step of the complex number induction, so as we always prove for n equals to 1, uh, so I take n equals to 1 out here as well as to the right hand side. So, what I notice is that both the sides, the complex number is giving the same answer. It means that it is true for n equals to 1. Now step number two is to uh, assume for n equals to k. So this is our assumption step uh, out here. This is the assumption for n equals to k. So basically we replace n with k out here uh, and the right hand side is also you replace n with k. So the assumption that we got is that cos theta plus i sine theta to the power k can be written as cos k theta plus i sine k theta. This is really, really important because we're going to use it. Coming to the final step, that is to prove step. Now, n equals to k plus 1, we have to prove. Now, we assume n equals to k is true. If that's true, n equals to k plus 1 might be true. Now, what exactly do we need to do? First step is to write the step that you need to prove. So, I replace with n equals to k plus 1 out here. So, you have to replace uh, in place of k, you have to replace with k plus 1 and so is out here. The important thing is that we have to use all these outcomes to prove for n equals to k. Now I take n equals to k statement left hand side. So I'm just going to take this particular part and proceed from here. Okay, so the steps are, first step is to open up this as two powers as a power of k and as a power of 1 because k plus 1 can be written as k plus 1 as an indices. Okay, now next step is to use and apply what you assumed. So the assumption that we did out here, this step, I'm going to use out here. So in place of cos theta plus i sine theta to the power k, I'm going to use cos k theta plus i sine k theta because that's what we assumed. The next step is to multiply and open up the bracket. So assume knowledge out here is the property of i square and um, the basic expansion of bracket knowledge. So I'm going to open up this as this statement out here. So this is the expansion of this part. Now, um, you can simply say cos k theta. When I multiply with cos theta, you're going to get this statement and, and so on with the other stuff. So uh, it's really, really important that you understand the simple expansion. The final step is to collect the real part and imaginary part. So the, there are two real parts. The first real part is out here and the second out, out here. So I'm going to collect them together and put them as single number. Now, second part is the imaginary part. So imaginary part, we got... Um, uh, sin theta cos k theta. So that's your first part, which is sin theta cos k theta. And the second part is plus cos k theta sin theta. Cos k theta times sin theta i. Now, if you know the simple compound angle properties, that's your cos k theta, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. That's your nothing but cos a plus b expansion. So cos a plus b expansion is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So this becomes cos k theta plus theta because cos a, that's a, a is here and b is here. So if you add them up, that's what you're going to get. Plus similarly, i times sin k theta plus theta because um, you have this part as cos a cos sin b sin a cos b. So that's your inductive effect proven out here. Now, in this context, what we take is uh, you take theta common so that it can be more evident uh, what we wanted to prove. 
So I'm just going to take exactly the way I want it. So this is proven. Now you write down the general statement as it is true for n equals to 1, n equals to k, n equals to k plus 1. Hence, it is true for given condition. Please do not forget this. Let me just show you the IV marking for this question. So IV marking is pretty similar. Uh, you can see that there is a reasoning mark given to the step. So uh, if you do not write down this step, you lose mark. Then you have your proposition step. Then you have uh, your proof step. Exactly the same way. You can pause this video and you can, if you want to kind of go back and review it, that should be okay. Now, if you have understood this, try to attempt the next question. You can pause this video for a second on the question two and before you see the answer. Well, hope you have um, looked at the question. And now if you are ready to test your answers, you can watch the video further. So first step is that we wanted to prove 1 plus i the whole square, evaluate 1 plus i the whole square. So this part is just pretty simple. You open up the bracket and you know i square is negative 1, so you're going to get this because positive 1 and negative 1 cancel out. So this part is, is pretty easy. Now coming to the induction. So n equals to uh, k straight away if I uh, assume uh, out here, if I take n as 1, so the left hand side is to the power 4 and right hand side is going to be to the power negative 4 to the power uh, 2. So 4 to the power 1. So what exactly we get is this particular step. Now when you take further you can just simply look at the assumption that we make. This is the assumption of n equals to k. Now proving for n equals to k plus 1 so you replace what's the statement that we need to prove. So your statement is I need to get uh, k plus 1 out here and you, you can put k, k plus 1 out here as well. So as per simplification, when I have to prove 1 plus i to the power 4k plus 4, this should be negative 4 to the power k plus 1. That's the exact proof that is required. So this part we prove that here it is uh, 1 plus i to the power k is uh, 4k is negative 4 to the power k and then 1 plus i to the power 4 we can write down as using this statement so if you square this you're going to get 1 plus i to the power 4 which is negative 4 and you collect them together and that's your answer negative k plus negative 4 to the power k plus 1. now uh, further for the final part you have the statement which you can use i hope this this kind of is self-explanatory I have put one more question if you wanted to attempt. Uh, the question is use mathematical induction to prove that if your n is positive integer, this statement holds true. Okay, again, you can pause this video for a couple of minutes and you can try this question and then you can check the answer. I have put the answers at the end, you can check the answers. Hope you're done trying. And um, the question marking is done out here. If you have any question, uh, you can again pause the video, look at the mark scheme carefully and, and look at the subcomponent marking. It's really important that you understand for what you've been given mark. Uh, I assume that n equals to one, n equals to k, all are pretty easy to understand. This again the power of uh, property we use to prove this and here we use the basic double angle, I mean compound angle formulas. I hope this video helped you understand the concepts of uh, complex number induction and if you have any question you can um, just re-watch this video once again and if you have any, any other question put please put in the comment video.